Oh, the thresholds. They're not married yet. Is that after you get married? I don't know. You can threshold at any point. You, you buy a new house. Point. Threshold. If you lift them, do it. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Ashley. I'm Mitch. And this is our channel, Membriash, where we are currently watching Love is Blind Mexico. And today we're watching specifically episode three called The First Night Together. I think if I understand correctly that we're getting out of the pods today, which makes sense with The First Night Together. Although I think we're literally going to see two more couples in the pods. We're going to see Chema pick between Alejandra and Sylvia. And then I think we're going to see a whole new person that they literally haven't introduced until now called Francesca, which is a little wild to me, honestly. (laughs) Yeah. Like, I'm already attached to the people that I've been seeing. I'm not ready to see, like, a whole new person that hasn't been introduced at all and has, like, no relationship in my mind to anyone else yeah. on the show. Even though they're going to be a central part of the whole show, but they're not coming until episode three, it does feel, for me... Yeah. Yeah, I get I get that. And then we're probably going to get clarity, too, on the situation with Renee and your race because that's still i think that was the big cliffhanger from the end of episode two so like lots happening honestly in episode three if they're also like spending their first night together and i guess their honeymoon is going to be in or like whatever honeymoon episodes i don't know what you want to call that but like their vacation i think i think that's considered the honeymoon it they're in tulum that um, makes sense. Which makes sense. Like, yeah. like that's where half <laughs> these shows go. That's actually where uh, Perfect Match was Yeah, filmed? that's where Perfect Tulum? Match was yeah, right. yeah, exactly. So, like, it makes sense that Just they're going to Just drive go out there. to the coast, basically. Right. Like, well, when yeah. we were like, where are they going to have their little, like, honeymoon vacation? It's like, they could pick any number of places in Mexico. Yeah. And, like, it's gorgeous. I also want to mention the fact that we got a shout out from Fernando on Instagram, which is pretty cool. It was a little scary, I'm it not going to lie. It was a lie. short clip, but he was reacting to our reaction. So, <laughs> hey, Fernando, if you're watching this. Hi. Um, yeah, it was super cool and also very weird uh, because I'm used to judging people and not being judged. So, But, we, but we, <laughs> and we've said this, we're open to judgment. Yeah. You know, people judge us right. all the time in the comments, which yeah. is fine. A lot of people are very supportive and agree, but a lot of time people don't too, and that's cool. That's true, yeah, yeah. Um, so it was, it was interesting. I got a little nervous when initially yeah. you were like, oh, and I was like, oh, Oh no, what I say, I don't remember. Yeah. But it was it was pretty cool. And then also Alejandra that. was in the comments saying hi as well. So Yeah. So it's like pretty yeah. neat. I think this is the first time that we've like watched a show together where we've had um like multiple people that were actually on the show reach out and be like watching the content, which is super neat. We like them. Yeah, so we far. Like both of and, them, yeah. and we like the way they've shown up. And I think yeah. we've said that. I think we've said like one yeah. or two critical thing about either of them, maybe. But yeah, I mean, we're yeah. both like we're both just pains in the asses too. So like we're gonna we're gonna nitpick on like all the little stuff. And I think we do that for pretty much everyone. But I actually like virtually everyone on the Lowest Slide Mexico cast this so has been, far. Yeah, it's been it's a been good cool. season. Yeah, I agree. Generally, by this point in Love is Blind on like other seasons, especially US. Oh god, the US. I version. just like quite a few people most of them yeah. and i can't really even say that about mexico there's a, a couple places where i think we've noticed like red flags in yeah. the relationships but not enough where i'm like oh i just straight don't like this and, I, and i'm hopeful for most of the couples yeah definitely that said there might be some intent so i didn't i didn't want to get too much into the comments either because i saw a few things that might indicate stuff that happens in episode three and four and it might Ooh. get intense so i'm just gonna like trigger warning people yeah. it, it could get a little uncomfortable for people that have had intense relationships that aren't always healthy. So maybe like suggestions of intimate partner violence, whether that's emotional or physical. Yeah, or like okay. or like boundary violations and stuff, okay. which I think we did arguably see a little bit of already. We it did. was hinted at what might turn into more of yeah. that. So uh, just keep that in mind watching the rest of this. Yeah, if that's something that's like a big trigger point for you, then maybe watching this is not is not a great idea. But we'll let you let you decide. Yeah, you decide. You decide. Should we get in? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Part of what made me a little scared of the fact that you like drinking was thinking that maybe it could make you become violent. It's hard because if someone has trauma around alcohol, I think yeah. any amount of drinking can potentially like trigger that. I just don't get, and maybe I'm wrong, we'll see, but I just don't get the vibes that he is like an alcoholic yeah i'm ready to make the decision to continue on this path with him do you think they're gonna get engaged i think they're gonna get engaged i do wow i said it last episode i think that i think that she's 
she really wants to get engaged and so they're gonna do it well and i think she did like renee she just really latched on to fernando it's it's always strange for me this isn't to say that it can't work but it's always strange for me when somebody is really into one person and then they end up going with their second choice yeah what's up hey but this is the first time we're seeing willie at all do really, we know this lady i wish they would have introed some of these people a little just earlier. a brief Come intro on. right they may have shown one clip and not. We didn't register it though. It's yeah, just Francesca. not enough. Like I want to see Francesca even like interacting with the other girls. Like yeah, I want to know that she's gonna be someone that we're gonna be seeing more. Yeah, of they, they could have easily done before that. Before episode so they're three, they just totally disappeared until this point. I'm hoping to get a king who can build a family and a castle and create a beautiful love story for me and for my daughter. Oh, she has a daughter too. I, I, I somebody else said in the comments that um, it's been really normal in all of the Brazil seasons to have. I think since season one there have been people, people with to kids. Have kids and then and then like jessica got a lot of flack somebody else said the reason they didn't like jessica and the kid thing was um, jessica vestal are you talking yeah, about that she kept bringing it up from it love like, is blind yeah. season six six yeah. yeah so there's a lot of like contention about the american version how that contrasts to like this or brazil version and when it comes to kids and families I really wonder if some of that is age because I feel like, and maybe I'm wrong, crowd. but I feel like, yeah, the people that they've chosen for Love is Blind Mexico, a lot of them Look are another in their 34 30s. year old. Yeah. I feel like in, in the US version, they're always trying to do that like they're hot, 20s. young, 20 something. Yeah. It really is like, why are you getting married? You're 24. Like, <laughs> it's okay. You can wait a couple of years. I like this because of that. Like, I like seeing the people that are a little older. I like seeing people that like already have families and like are dating and have to navigate like that's an additional layer of like complexity yeah. that you have to navigate when you're trying to find a life partner and I like watching them navigate that. Yeah. It's like drama without it being just for the sake of drama. It's like real life complications mm -hmm. that people end up facing rather than just like kind of lame senseless. kind of fighting drama. Yeah. Yeah. She seemed very centered and we have a few things in common. I would love to go on another date with her. And this can work. Like yeah, we've there seen are plenty it in a of ton couples. of the seasons, yeah, yeah. right? Like they're actually pretty successful at matching couples that end up getting married and having kids. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Shimon Alejandra. <laughs> oh no. I'm nervous. Me too. See, is this the fake out? Or I don't is this know. the real deal? I don't know. Hey Alejandra. Talk to me. She did prioritize his child from like the outset. You seem like a woman who is very sure of herself. And I really love that. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Are you thinking there's a but? No, no, I don't know. You never know. I don't know either. We, I almost feel like there's like going to be a oh, but, no. dude. After everything that's happened, I decided that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is he going with I decided Sylvia? that I can't do this. I felt a stronger connection in the other pod. Oh. oh. You're a very cool person. I feel like he's being honest. I think because he's right. He's like, you're so sweet. You're really nice. He really liked her. I wish I don't there were more people a, like you in the yeah, world. Yeah, I don't think there's a question. And, and they're like specific, sincere responses to what she did for him. Wait, did I miss something? I'd like to become friends because I don't want to not have people like you in my life. He did the same thing. Leave the door open? Yeah, like we could be friends basically, which I feel like is not what they're here for. Like I understand what he's saying, but like- I know we won't be friends. I know yeah. we won't be friends. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, Alejandra. it's not realistic for him to ask that. Absolutely. I don't know. Like I would totally date you if it doesn't work out, but that's also just kind of like- I know you'll come back to me. No, that's it, basically what they're saying. It would right? be sleazy of him to say that on this show yeah. because it's not. I understand why he would want to say that because, like, he doesn't know this other person that he's yeah, getting yeah, yeah. engaged to. And that's so intense. It's possible it won't. It won't. I'll be waiting patiently. You go have fun at the beach. I'll be waiting patiently. Well, like she'll talk to him or whatever if he wants to talk. Yeah, she said I'll see you in real life when it becomes more clear. I mean, that's intense. I don't know what that means. I mean, the the reality <laughs> of these shows too is that there are often times where people that either aren't featured that are getting together or people that are featured that are, are getting with people that didn't make it through the whole yeah. process and stuff. So, I mean, like, I don't know. Yeah, for sure. I know that the connection we have is very beautiful. I know that at some point, everything will align. And it is very, it's very possible. She's got a degree of confidence here. He, like, he's sniffing her letter. Like, he, re he really, he really liked, liked her. her. Yeah, yeah. I really believe That's that. That's intense. 
And, like, you and I were talking about this earlier, because, like, even when we're not filming, we we talk about the show. I mean, uh, I don't, it's just sad like, or we've got a bunch of depressing shit to talk about right now, so... Yeah, life is hard, so we like, uh, we like to... I talk almost about... cried right there. We... I don't usually cry. <laughs> <laughs> I cried a lot lately. It's raw. <laughs> um, but I wonder, because he talked about his connection with Sylvia being more, like friends yeah and i wonder if when they go on the honeymoon if they're going to be able to move that into like a physical connection or if it's going to still feel more like friends but i don't think i can wait what whoa i don't think i can live without you sylvie oh Oh, my god Gemma! Gemma, you mother (laughs) dude Jeez, dude. Oh, uh, I was like, you. I mean, you, you could totally leave just not proposing to anybody. Yeah, people have. People do. This is going to be fun because if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. That, <laughs> they guess. have a very joking relationship. Yeah. Like, they do. They laugh a lot. They do. Which is funny because it's weird. His edit has kind of been so serious. He seems so stiff, but then, but then he, the two people he, he, does he shit picked like are not like yeah. the most serious people. Yeah. He picked Sylvia, who's like very he's funny a, and makes sarcastic joker. jokes yeah. all the time. And then he picked Alejandra, who is also like very mm. warm and bubbly and like Yeah. I mean what he's in like in finance or something, right? Yeah. And and uh and and yeah, he's he wants to hang out with like her who's goofy. Yeah. Or so Alejandra goofy. who's like Sunshine. Artistic sunshine. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I never thought I'd find a connection this strong. But with Sylvia, that's how it feels. Do you know what I like, too, about every single proposal we've seen? Because it's been a lot of love triangles. Yeah. Is that any time, like, the person has picked someone, the other person has been incredibly gracious. Yeah. About, like, the choice. The one that wasn't, was it Ma Fair? Who was it that wasn't? One Ma person was, was like, you're going to regret fine. this for the rest of your life. Who was that? That was, oh, who was that? <laughs> was that I Alejandra, don't... actually? Who I was that? Who said that? It might have been Alejandra. Oh, it might have been Alejandra. It might have been Alejandra. Cheers. <laughs> How hard would it be to be sitting in the room when the other person comes in and they're like celebrating getting engaged and it's to the oh, person you wanted to be getting engaged mm. to. I would be crying. I wouldn't be able to handle it. Well, Alejandra's confident though. It would still feel like I know, crap, I know. Though. Like I it know. would feel bad. Would you rather go on an expensive trip tomorrow or have money in the bank to buy an apartment? I think I'm a little unstable in this area. So he's like he's the free spirit kind of I mean, even the way he's sitting, his coat, you know, he's like, Yeah, go with the winds. <laughs> yeah. She does not seem like that at no, all. No, Holy crap. I'm the type of person who spends all their money. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I don't really have a backup plan. He's being honest about it, though. He's a bit of a party guy, it seems like, right? It's weird because they connect in, on a certain level, and then on other things like this, they, they really don't feel That's like they connect. Big, and well, That's the, big. There's just so many reasons they shouldn't get engaged. It's weird because it feels like she has a couple of trigger points that, like, it's not like he's he's not a bad person for yeah. it, but it's like the way that he lives his life would be difficult for her. Like, the drinking thing. The money thing, she literally said, she's like, I've seen how illness can, like, be very expensive. Like, it takes all That's of your money. That's true. Like, his perspective of being able to just spend whatever he wants doesn't take into account the fact that yeah. you may have like illness or disability that means that most he, people don't think about yeah, that and he's until not. you have and to. She has to. And she has because to because her brother has That's disability. True. That'd be like you dating. You'd be like, hey, not everything. You can't right. just fly around and run right. around all over the I'm place. I'm expensive. Yeah, you are expensive. <laughs> Holy shit! It got me too, Francesca. I'm not even watching these people. Yeah, they added him late, man. Yeah, how am I supposed to be invested? <laughs> of course, Mila is a part of you, and that would automatically make her a part of my family as well. Well, he's responding really well to her having a daughter. The truth is, I'm nervous right now because I'm very picky when it comes to a woman's physical appearance. Man, why would you go on this show I if you're know. picky about people's physical appearance? For some reason, I read pricky. Oh, well, like, hopefully, prickly. hopefully not. Know. She's a literal model. My biggest insecurity is my height. She's very, she's, she's taller than like every other woman in that. In Except Ma Fair. Ma Fair is really tall Was Ma Fair too. tall? Yeah, she's very okay. tall. Watching her come into the hallway with all the other people I hope in the it's hallway. not a minion. Oh no. That's rude. That is rude. Don't say that. Because he's not particularly tall, is he? Yeah. <laughs> Hello there, Hello, my guys. darling Sylvie. <laughs> oh no, they're about the same height. 
Oh, he, she's, yep. She's right probably at, on heels, She's though. in heels. She's, she's in, in heels, heels, so that doesn't count. I think she is in heels just a head taller or a hair taller, right? I love his little gray hairs. His, li his little gray hairs. Silver Fox. <laughs> I did notice Sylvia was a bit nervous, a bit stiff. Yeah, it's weird. Their meeting is not as like immediately physical yeah. as everybody else that we saw. I like tall girls because there's more to play with, so I'm pretty happy. <laughs> okay. I do find it a little strange that she immediately called him good looking and he, he was just it. like, yeah, I told you. Look at that gorgeous smile you have. <laughs> okay, 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 he's complimenting her appearance now too. Sylvie. Of course I will. <laughs> Come on, put it on. Fernando and, and Karen, were oh, exceptionally not, yeah. physical when that they first was, That met. was a fantastic connection. The minute yeah. they saw each other, you could tell. And she ran. Instant. He like picked Instant. her up practically. But they they still seem really cute. I you know I'm gonna stay hopeful for them. But there there's that fear. Like, is it gonna be more of a friend thing? Now, time to play some ads. Why did I say that like that? Because <laughs> I'm tired and depressed. <laughs> Honestly, I'm super duper happy. I'm glad he's happy though. And I mean, like you and I have a great friendship where we joke around a lot. And we are best friends and buds. Yes, but we're and also, also partners married and, and partners. Yeah. yeah. So it depends on what you want. A lot of people don't want that in a relationship. And I think it's That's the best true. thing in the world. But me too. like, you know. Oh, me too. Oh. <laughs> Hope we can continue just like this all the way to the altar. Now, now I'm wondering if Alejandra's gonna come back at some point. I mean, she's going to be invited. They're going to have a barbecue or something, Especially right? Especially the way she was talking. She's going to at least be chatting up Chama being like, how's that going? Oh, a little Rocky in Paradise, huh? Are you really okay with accepting my daughter? I like that she's like kind of pressing him about it. Mm -hmm. Because it would suck to get engaged to someone on this and then find out that they're not really okay with the fact that you have a child already yeah that would be really hard and then in a way you've already brought that person into the child's life because they're mm -hmm. you know probably gonna see the show that's what we've talked about and... is like like that's such an extra difficulty and mm -hmm. like you don't want to you don't want to you don't a lot of people i hear don't want to have their kid meeting people until it feels real sure you yeah know? absolutely that would be stressful for sure virus will you marry me of course I want to marry you. <laughs> okay, she I says I saw yes. that happening. I am apprehensive. Yay! I'm also apprehensive. I'm also worried because they're all going to Tulum together. Yeah. And I feel, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like she probably still has feelings for Fernando. I'm sure she does. And I feel like the he way probably that went, doesn't have them for her. You know, well, he wasn't rude, but he was, he, he very was. Very clear. Yeah, he was clear. He set a very clear boundary with her. And I'm hoping he sure. maintains that clarity. I would be unsurprised if Irais it has difficulty with that. Especially because Fernando and Karen have a very strong connection yeah. and you can see it yeah and they're probably gonna be there's always one couple that you just look at them and everyone is like whoa they're yeah. connected and Absolutely. i'll be shocked if that's not fernando and karen and then Aries they're gonna be almost gonna like power couple it, i hate saying right? it but like in that context of mm -hmm. the of the group yeah right i feel very certain that if I'm going to test out if love is blind, I know I want to do it all with you. Francesca's putting Willie on the spot. I like her. She's like to the point. Yeah. Like asking him the questions about her daughter. Like she's like, I'm not here to I'm mess around. around. Yeah. Right. Like I'm going to ask you because I need an answer. And like she's just putting it all out on the table. She was really clear about how she felt and that clarity showed self-confidence and authenticity. Yes. I mean, those are great qualities, but she's also like not being dismissive or harsh or demeaning or anything like that. No. She's clear, direct. I have a boyfriend and his name is Guille. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It's, uh... I'm not worried about what he might look like because I think if the emotional connection is real, the physical shouldn't matter. I'm nervous. I'm nervous too. I think they both look great, but they there's do. just so much going on in this relationship. He looks like a bit of a bad boy. <laughs> Why does he look like what? a bad boy? I feel like I'm hugging a stranger. I mean, that's because you technically are hugging a stranger. Oh. I'm confused. What part? It's not like he has tattoos. I know. I'm confused. No, this isn't my guy. You switched him. Mine sounds different. What? 
okay, I have a problem with this Ugh. because after she literally just said to producers that she didn't care what he looked like because they'd forged God this on connection. And then she immediately sees him, says he looks like a bad boy, which I'm really struggling to understand what she means by that. I didn't like the piercings. I didn't I like the it. piercings. But he has like... He has a nose piercing. Because he has like two really low-key piercings and no tattoos that are visible. What? She doesn't want to kiss them. She wouldn't kiss them. I saw a comment where people are saying that there might be some some potential like colorism or racism here and how he like presents a little bit more indigenous and she might be kind of like shading him, shading him. And uh, I mean, she is. It, but it's why is she doing this? Right. And I don't know. I can't I can't break into the psychology. And I also don't know like regional shit around that. But it is confusing though, because his piercings are They're super low key. Right. He's an incredibly good looking guy. Then I was hoping that physically he wouldn't give off that vibe and I'd say he doesn't look like a drunk, but he does. We don't need to do what did he, what did she just say? She just said he looks like a drunk. That's the that's that's Are a continuation of that me? shit. If I had met him on the outside, he's not the type of person I would have had anything to do with. Why is she doing this? I don't know. That seems she like She said he doesn't shit. look like anything, anyone I would have anything to do with. I don't know what that means. I feel like he'd make me need therapy. I don't want any more therapy. No, I think you'd need more fucking therapy. That's ridiculous. This is wild. The both of you must leave the experiment. Oh, because she backed out at that point? Did she? Are they done now? Yeah, Did they just kicked leave? her out. Holy shit. And he had no idea. Because she that's, didn't communicate anything like that to him. That's f***ing shit. The stuff that she was saying that's was like, horrible. not okay. Like, that's, I'm sorry, but that's not okay. That's messed up, dude. And I would get it more. I mean, like, if he came out with, like, a neck tattoo or, like, face tattoos or something. like Yeah, I like a tattoo all it. the way up here. Right. Like a skull or something. <laughs> right. And she was Maybe like, oh, he looks like a bad boy. Like, well, uh, yeah. I would get that and more. Machine Gun Kelly type like, thing going on or something. He really doesn't. He Post just Malone. Looks, just like. <laughs> right, exactly. Just, like, face tattoos He's everywhere. actually, like, super nice, though. But he was, like, super well put together. He was a, he a very great. good looking guy. I know. His haircut looks great. Well, because he said he likes to go to concerts and shit i know i don't know i don't know what her problem Look, is here's the problem too they were clearly a bad match with the way they were talking about finances but why is she going to like completely shaming him for crap she doesn't know about him it just feels like crap if there are people watching that like live in mexico or maybe have like a better like understanding of like the cultural differences there like what's your impression of this like the way that she was talking to me raised a million red flags that felt like pretty racist that's honestly. that's what i heard comments about and, I, and, I, and i'm sad that it got a little spoiled but i'm also like i was hoping it wasn't true and that's exactly what they were saying like that is it that... felt like it was she was being racist towards him okay yeah because that's really what what it yeah. felt like to me too yeah immediately that made me deeply uncomfortable yeah. watching yeah. that Say and it he, sucks because yeah. he was such a nice guy and he responded in every way when they were talking about like the situation with her brother and like yeah. what she was looking for in the future with a partner. He responded exactly in the way that you would want him to. He never gave any indication to me. And maybe, I mean, tell us in the comments if you saw something different, but I never saw anything that indicated that he had a problem with alcohol. What I saw well, was Fernando he likes to go out. He like likes to have a good time. I don't understand. Like, going to concerts, enjoying enjoying alcohol to some extent, like, doesn't mean that you're an alcoholic. Yeah. Like, those things are completely different. That's crazy. And I felt like she was incredibly judgmental. And then saying the stuff about him that she said when she met him, it was all really disgusting, honestly. Yeah. I really didn't like it. She should... I mean, if you got some... Uh, and then I'm like, did she even care about the other crap that was the reasons that she could have reasonably just not gotten engaged to him? And then she just made it all about this, like, really weird hating on him. For It's just, it, it was bad. I didn't like that. I'm, like, glad for him yeah. that, like, they're not continuing with things because between him being her second choice anyway. Yeah. And her really, like, only picking him because Fernando didn't pick her the wild things that he that she was saying about him yeah that's just not i mean she talked about therapy and honestly it sounds like a great move she needs to go back to you <laughs> and she needs to bring these clips yeah and be like this is who i showed up as can we talk can, about this can we fix me right can, it's not his fault can right. we fix me and they almost did get engaged. Oh, more running! <laughs> I love the people. Did that you hear run. The, the steps? <laughs> yeah. I just look up and she's all the way across. It's like so a horror running. movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 
Uh, I'm a little frustrated because I feel like I don't know these people. Well, we've also been talking through their entire Well, that's because episode. they show us clips of someone seemingly being racist and then expect us to be able to pay attention right? to this. Like, I can't. You're so gorgeous. You too. They're cute. cute. I'm excited to get to know them better. I am yet to... I don't even know his name. I know she's Willie. Willie? Willie. Willie. Okay, okay. And then I think he told her to call him Guille. Guille, I saw and that. And then I think maybe his full name. name is Guillermo. Guillermo, yeah. But he goes by Willie. I'm really happy to finally put a face to Francesca's voice. I like this season so far. This has been pretty good. Yeah, except when it's not. We can Will they still be able to prove that true love is blind? Let's hope, hope so. so. I actually like the host oh, clips, yeah. clips better. The ones for the most recent season of Brazil were overproduced and it was very strange. Yeah. Like I didn't like it at all. And these are cute. Yeah, they are. I'm not just going to let anyone come into my life and even more so because I have my daughter. Yep. Oh, it's just, she's saying kind of what we were talking about. Absolutely. I like women with character, but I'm very direct. So if I feel at all jealous or insecure because of my partner, then I'll tell her straight away. I looked at pictures of Kit Harrington recently. <laughs> I had to see it in my head Other if it was people real. agreed with you. Other people agreed with it's you. It's real. He has like the same exact facial hair and yeah. sort of the general. If he had long hair tied back in a ponytail, Can riding on a horse with a bunch of fur, <laughs> yes. Game he give me a body double, dude. Game of yeah. Thrones all day. <laughs> the way she looks is just a bonus because I really like her. I think she feels the same way about me. Hi. Oh, man. <laughs> just green flags with them he literally was like how she looks is just a bonus because yeah. like, i like her so much a red flag he wasted half that champagne in the room <laughs> <laughs> so he's gotta clean that up <laughs> uh, oh the threshold they're not married yet is that after you get married i don't know you can threshold at any point you, you buy a new house point? threshold if you lift them do it <laughs> <laughs> were you like uh -huh. what the hell I mean, imagine that all I can see is this. They seem to be connecting really well, too. Yeah. Like, really well. There's a lot of laughter and smiling and... They seem to have a that's very cute. good, yeah, connection. Very good chemistry. This trip has shown that Karen is all terrain. So she's like, I mean, she's girly and done up. She's got the nails on, but she's riding the mountain bike through the through the forest and shit. And he's, he's feeling really happy about that. I had a strong connection with Saul. And one day I... Wait. You had a thing for Saul? Did she? Oh, he didn't know. Oh, that's right. But he like shamed her. I didn't Dead. I didn't catch that because he said he was okay with threesomes, just only if there were two women involved. Yeah. And I didn't see that because I think he... you and I talk a lot. But she was like, what if two men? He's like, no, that's not good enough. Yes. So it's not the sanctity of marriage. And she talked to him about previously being yeah. involved with like swinger type relationships. Yeah. And he was upset with that. Yeah, he showed up really bad in that. No, I didn't have anything that strong with Saul. It's just that I was really, like, uh -huh. thinking with my heart. Oh, is he getting oh, nervous? No. no, yeah, I think he is. Fernando! I don't know, he's, he's taking it really well. He's nervous, but he's like... Yeah. He's, he's not. He said, I'm not a jealous guy, but I want her to be my wife. Yeah. You know, that's totally reasonable. We'll have time for that later. Well, they seem okay. Like that kind of seems like a small hiccup. I mean, some stuff. These are very like, that's small what she said. Things. Hiccups. Also, like getting to know someone. Also, she has a daughter, so like yeah, there's some a of lot this of stuff, stuff is gonna be bigger for yeah. her because you know she has someone else that she's thinking about too. I wanted to tell you that it was a little too fast for me. I'm glad that she's communicating okay, that with him okay. now. She's like letting him know that she wasn't comfortable. There's no rush. You can relax. It'll happen naturally. Okay, he's being supportive. Okay. Okay. I'm worried about him. I'm worried about it. I want to be wrong. He's saying, kind of he's saying the right things, but I, I know. still feel uh, uncomfortable about it for some reason, and I don't know why. Our bodies together, the wind, it was all beautiful. They seem Aww. super happy. This is great so far. They seem super happy. Yeah. And the red flag with him was just that he was like, oh, we could talk later. Maybe he just didn't mean it the way that it came out. Oh, what? Do you no, know a I don't know. I don't, no, I know nothing. I know You're nothing. You're looking at me. It's just you tend to do this, like, giving people a lot of leeway thing. We talked about it today. Oh, God. Maybe he just meant, like, yeah, let's chat. Let's get a beer sometime. Eat chicken wings. <laughs> I don't feel bad. I'm not offended. It's awesome to be able to talk about those things openly. 
a lot of these people seem like very comfortable talking about yeah. things that like for me I would be getting in my head if somebody said that because mm-hmm. he was literally like oh it was like we're back in high school like that rush of emotion and to me I'd be like oh no like I feel insecure about that a ton of emotional maturity from most or all of these people yes. yeah yeah honestly it's I'm learning, yeah, Mexico's I'm, I'm learning awesome. some stuff you know <laughs> <laughs> I can see myself in a long-term relationship with Willie. I mean, awesome. hopefully, because you're on the show. You're engaged, you're Francesca. Engaged. So you're in a relationship now. I'm a strong, badass woman who's shown what she's made of in so many ways. I like Sylvia. We agree, Sylvia. I really like her. She's so self-confident, too, that even though there was that, like, love triangle situation, and it's got to have been yeah. hard hearing Alejandra talk about her relationship with Chema, Sylvia really never let that get in her head. Yeah. And that's when I can start to feel a bit insecure because there's a lot of meat here. Oh, Sylvia, you're gorgeous. Yeah. You're gorgeous. I think it's interesting that she's a curvy model. It's one of the things that started to make me fall in love with her. Oh, okay. So he's, he's treating it as a positive. Yeah. It's one of those things like, I mean, he's climbing on top of her to give her a back rub. All right, so they're both really happy about this right now, and he's being super flirty. I mean, what do you call this? It's definitely not friends vibes. Yeah, it's not friends vibes. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone seems really good together. Yeah. It's going well. Day one is, is going, going well. well. I'm very attracted to Sylvie to the point where I'm scared for her because the big guy downstairs will definitely do his thing. Chema just expressed his like extreme sexual attraction to Sylvia. So. All right. Great. Dang, dude. All right. Okay. It's interesting because I see a word like it, him say it's interesting that she's a curvy model and I, and I like... Immediately, I'm like, oh, no. But then he's like, oh, damn, she's hot. And it's like, okay, he's... I mean, she good. is. He's, yeah. He's not wrong. Yeah. And I think he literally meant, instead of, like, a shady way, he thinks yes. it is interesting to me. Yeah. Yes. At least translated and then said in English, I feel like that's the kind of thing somebody would say around here when they met and like, oh, that's interesting. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, kind of like a, a dismissive thing. Okay, there we go. Holy mackerel. That was a good episode three. That was probably... Except when it wasn't. I keep oh, saying this. Oh, yeah. That was... Okay. I hope it, Renee's doing well. My attention span is real short, so I would completely forgotten because I got uh, seduced by all of the like pretty wonderful like first honeymoon night situations yeah. that I'd completely forgotten about the situation with the entire Harry, middle and Renee. We yeah. were angrily talking like through the entire meeting of Francesca and Willie. Oh, yeah. The, their, all their dates because yeah, they were I forgot just about that part. fixating on that how part. awful Iraís was to Renee. That sucked. That sucked. And that seemingly sucks. for no reason. And especially when you have like, I, I would have understood it more if the feedback she had gotten from Fernando had been oh no, like, Renee's not a good guy. Or, or whatever. Oh, yeah, you know, he... he or, like, he does drink a lot. Quite a bit. Right. Like, it doesn't seem like just a pastime. No. Fernando was like, I think that guy's great. I can vouch for him fully. Yeah. He's a great person. So what, does Iris know, not trust Fernando now? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is it? Well, obviously not. He you broke up marry with her, guy. so... <laughs> but she asked for feedback. Yeah. He gave it. I know. And then she threw that all the way whatever it's good for good for renee i'm sure yeah i'm really glad that he didn't have to get dragged onto the vacation to tulum only to find out that that was yeah. how she was gonna react like uh was it zach and yeah what was whatever her name, her name like, arena was arena was yeah, it zach, was and, zach arena. and arena oh my god yeah i'm, I'm really glad that it's hard you don't want to see someone just get completely rejected while they're on their yeah on their vacation that's like that's no good for anybody. I wonder if that's going to be Saul's like narrative about his experience. Oh, do you think Even he's going to feel that way with Letty? I think that that might end up because look, he can, he can say I'm fine all all he wants. My problem with that though is that Letty told Saul like she asked him. She said, "What if?" I don't want to have sex on the honeymoon. How are you going to feel about that? What if I'm not comfortable? How are you going to feel? Well, yeah. And he said he would be fine with it. I know, but he said that. I know. Saying it and doing it are different things. I'm just saying, That's like, it. she, it's not a situation where they talked about it and she was like, oh, yeah, I'd totally be down. And then they get there and she's like, ooh, never mind, ew. Like, that's yeah. not what's happening. What's happening is she told him that she moves slower and 
wants then respect. If he that. doesn't respect that or if that weighs on his self confidence, then that's a little frustrating because she did communicate that clearly up front to him. Yeah. I mean that's my, my only opinion. that's my only big fear right now. Yeah. Honestly. Which Everybody is else crazy. seems great. That's like a really good that's a really good, really good start of the honeymoon. Yeah. So we'll see. It's gonna get shaken up at some point, but there's no need to project or guess what that is yet because there's a whole nother episode. We could just live in bliss. Let's live in bliss. For now. Yes. All right. What did you think, especially about that Renee Erase situation? If you have like more like cultural insight, please let us know because yeah. I feel a certain kind of way about it. I want to be wrong. Yeah, Does it really bad. sound like we are wrong? Yeah. I'm just from what I've already seen. But right. Give us more. Give us more. More feedback. on Yeah. That. I'm very interested in your perspective um, on that. And then any other red flags, I guess, that you see or any other like super green flags that maybe we missed when we were watching? Yeah. Thank you. Thank uh, you for watching. Like the video. Subscribe. Um, and, and we'll see you for episode four. Yes. All right. Okay, Thank bye. you. Bye. Oh, then I got it not. And I started going. Ah! Ridiculous. All of those tearjerkers. Hey, we're going to go on a cruise this summer. You should come with us.